Yeah, I think we got it there now. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome you and uh, thank you so much for coming on to the late one tonight. And uh, hope you are doing well. Hope all is well. Um, we are not letting any coronavirus sort of, you know, take us out. <laughs> um, I must say that I, I think we got to give um, our condolences to the families of those who have passed away. Um, some medical person contacted me a friend of mine said actually they heard that while people are dying from as a result as because of the coronavirus they're also dying because of vent the ventilation which the ventilators which they need and there's got to be this call which they make um this this decision uh so it, so it, it is very interesting you know but i want to say that my let me see if i can do this let me see if I can do this. If I can do this, can I do this? Um, no, I can't do this. No, I can't do this. But my, my topic tonight is, as you can see, it's about the Cuban doctors. Right? Cuban doctors versus COVID. Right? Cuban doctors versus COVID. I believe somehow that the Cuban doctors have Yeah, sorry. Yeah. The Cuban doctors seem to have the answer because I was going through something earlier and I did a quick little research. And if you quickly do a research on what is happening out there, these are all the topics here. Coronavirus hit countries are asking Cuba for medical help. Why is the US opposed? Cuba coronavirus hit countries. Let me just turn this off there. Let's just go straight at it because I also have a guest tonight, uh, Mr. Ian, Ian um, Lynn Mohammed, right? He's going to come on later. Ian, whenever you're ready, you just come on and I'll just bring you in. Cuba, coronav coronavirus hit countries ask for medical help and why? Coronavirus in Brazil, Cuban doctors wait for their chance. How? Cuba doctors plan to save us from coronavirus. US pressures countries to reject Cuban aid during coronavirus. Cuban doctors and nurses arrive in Milan to help fight coronavirus. Italy, Cuban doctors and nurses arrive to help fight coronavirus.
coronavirus, right? It goes on. And if you can find some, you can send me some of these um, topics. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'd appreciate for you to do, if you can actually um, share this video, just share it out there, because I believe it's going to be a, a very um, interesting topic. I, I, I do appreciate that as much as possible. They say what? Sharing is caring. And um, I've got a few other things which I want to uh, maybe share briefly, but um, let, let's deal with this. Let's let's keep keep the focus on this um, Cuba. Cuban doctors and medical persons recently also went into Jamaica, right? And um, and that is powerful. By sending doctors to Italy, Cuba continues its long campaign. Cuban doctors arrive in Europe, right? Cuban coronavirus response is putting other countries to shame. Cuba coronavirus response is putting other countries to shame, as I said earlier. Cuba uses wonder drug to fight coronavirus around the world despite US sanctions. For help on coronavirus, Italy turned to China, Russia, and Cuba. Cuba doctors head to Italy to fight coronavirus. Cuba doctors and the coronavirus pandemic. Coronavirus latest Cuban wonder drug fights virus, right? What we are actually seeing, ladies and gentlemen, is something is happening and something is up where Cuba is actually on the front line, okay? But anyway, before I go there, and let me just jump on, jump into this one. Um, there's a video which is going around with Gina Yesher, and Gina Yesher is a, is a is a, a comedian, and um, the video talks about that. You know, the, the the media, the UK media, has been having um, only white persons on all the mainstream papers, right? And it doesn't reflect, right? It doesn't reflect the UK and the medical team and the NHS we call the UK and the medical fraternity is comprised of windrush persons and everybody like that okay now she made some good points and she was speaking to the learned and she was speaking to people who know these things and she made it very clear and she showed and she listed a lot of different um newspapers white media newspapers showing white doctors media that's nothing new really to a certain extent <laughs> you know but what i didn't like was at a time like this where people are dying left right and center one is seeming to somewhat uh should i say it yeah i say it draw the race card so i found it slightly a bit distasteful and i made my voice very clear and i said by the time that we spend, you know, doing that, you know what we could have done? Use the platforms that we have and showcase many nurses, many doctors from the BME community and shut it down, you know? Because I think we've got to reach to a point where we, we keep moaning and we keep complaining, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm tired of it. And I know many people are actually tired of it as well, of the moaning and the complaining, which happens a lot. But I just let that land right there, you know. I want to play this. I want to play this this video. Um, and Ian, I I don't know where you are, but um, I need you to be around shortly. You know, let me just check something here. Ian, I want to play this video, and you might hear this video now. You might know of this video, but let me just see if I can actually find it. And it's actually Michael Manley. Okay. And and this is this is this is this is really important. Okay. Michael Manley speaking about Cuba and the relationship that he had with Cuba. For anyone who doesn't know Michael Manley, Michael Manley was a former Prime Minister of Jamaica. And if I'm to actually um if I'm to actually uh, what should I say uh imitate Michael Manley, I'll say something like this. We have to feed the people fundamentally. For the first time at last, you might be wondering if I'm PNP. Doesn't matter. 
Michael Manley always said something like this, and I like this one. I like this one. They lie on Monday. They lie on Tuesday. They lie on Wednesday. They lie on Thursday. They lie on Friday. They lie on Saturday. God help them, they lie on a Sunday. <laughs> and they always talk about, for the first time, at last. All right? But I'm going to play this video here. Right? And just for you to listen to this for a second. And you just set the stage for later. It's very, very fundamental to us. It's, it's a non-negotiable item. Listen to this, yeah. Agenda. We start on certain positions of principle. John is very, very fundamental to us. It's, it's a non-negotiable item on our agenda. We start from certain positions of principle. One, Cuba is our nearest neighbor. Two, Cuba is a member of the third world like us. Three, Cuba fights at our side for changes in the world economic system. Four, we find Cuba the most principled country to deal with. They operate on a basis of respect for sovereignty and non-interference in other people's inter internal affairs. They have an internationalist policy that if you say to them, come and be my friend, we think you have certain skills that are interesting. We think you've done certain things that are interesting. We would like to have a look at what you've done. Would you like to cooperate with us in a field? They say, fine. If you don't want to cooperate, they say fine. We have long since understood that they are on a particular path of development that is obviously massively supported by their people and which is a part of their objective circumstances. Their revolution arose out of the horrors of one of the worst tyrannies the world had ever known. And a lot of their experience is conditioned by that fact. We are a totally different thing. We had a different kind of society, different traditions. We had a functioning plural democracy. And we are on what we call our, our, our democratic socialist path of development, which has certain points of similarity with theirs, but very substantial points of difference with theirs. And we respect each other. Um, but even more important than all of that, and this is what is non-negotiable to us, Cuba is a legitimate part of the world and this hemisphere. And it has one of the most legitimate governments in the world because legitimacy is a function of popular support and nothing else. Nothing else legitimizes except legitimacy. And no country, in our view, no country has the right to impose sanctions upon Cuba or any other country that has legitimacy. To us, therefore, it is non-negotiable that Cuba must be accepted as a full, free, and untrammeled member of the world community and the hemispheric community. And if that is not so, we can't make it so. I don't say this in arrogance. I'm talking about what we stand for, not what we can make happen. What we stand for we will not move over and we'll pay any price for. You know, looking at it from a practical point of view, you could say this, if you can do that to Cuba because you somebody doesn't like the Cuban revolution, then how do I know that you don't do that to me tomorrow, that you don't like something that I do? Would you say then that this is a reason why you are dissatisfied with the absence of sanctions against South Africa while there are sanctions against Cuba? It, it does not. Well, I'm not an easy person to end bitter, but that makes me as near to bitter as anything in the contemporary world. It's something that I said in Maputo actually at a conference, which I was invited this year, but it really is a tragic commentary on human values in the world. That there are still sanctions against this really very brave and brilliant social and human experiment which is taking place in Cuba. Even if you don't agree with the methodology, it's a remarkable experiment. And you can leave sanctions against that country and apply not one sanction, rather now talking about an arms embargo, but not one economic sanction against the ultimate leper of the international community, South Africa. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 
So that was um, Michael Manley. And I'm going to take this opportunity now to invite Mr. Ian Lynn Mohammed. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, very clearly. You can hear me very clearly. Okay, yes, sir. Fantastic. And ladies and gentlemen, can you hear Mr. Mohammed very clearly? They're all going to say yes. All right, they're going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, listen, I want to thank you so much for coming on. And I wanted to, to explore um, this topic here with the Cuban doctors. I reeled out a list of a lot of um, items talking about Cuban. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about Ian. Ian is the chief executive officer of the firm group and international automotive consulting and marketing company. He's also an activist and a member of the Nation of Islam under the leadership of the Honorable Minister Louis Farkin, Louis Farkin for over 20 years. Mr. Lane's extensive career in the auto industry started in New York over 20 years ago, 25 years ago. I know, I know you look like 25, but that's what it says. <laughs> years ago. I have nothing to do with that. I'm just repeating it. But I don't know why people lie like that. But you know, they, <laughs> the I look I'm like 20 years older than that. <laughs> listen, listen, Ian, can I tell you a quick joke? Ladies and gentlemen, this is, yes, a, quick, this is a quick joke. When we got married here, yeah, we did our honeymoon in Jamaica and we mm -hmm. were a band leader or whatever like that. And every time somebody come on and, and they introduce one of the guests of the night, they kept saying, and Mary Queen has been performing for 55 years, 65 years, at least like 10 years of age, man. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So Ian ran both new and used car dealership before returning to his homeland, Jamaica, in 2005. In Jamaica, was an activist who spoke up for the poor, disenfranchised in Jamaica, as well as challenged both government and private sector to break down the discrimination he saw. Ian returned to the United States, where he's focused on building the firm group, as well as to return to his roots in Islam, which he believes is needed to transform young black men in particular. An admirer of Michael Manley and an ardent supporter of Jamaica's first female prime minister, the most honorable Portia Simpson Miller. Jamaica Mohammed knows too well that Cuba has contributed not only to Jamaica, but Africa and the world. Ian Lane attended St. George's in Jamaica, graduated from Andrew Jackson High and studied at the Queensborough College. Ian, welcome, sir. How are you doing? It's a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. Absolutely. We've been at this for quite a while and finally yeah. on your, your wonderful show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have, been, we have been at it for a while, you know, but, yes, but then I decided that um, I was trying to get Angela Burke from the PNP or someone because of the PNP affiliation a lot with Michael Manley. Right. And, um, right. and listening to the video a while ago, which made it very clear. And I must say, confess, I, I, I used to just um, imitate Michael Manley as a boy. I, I, I see that. You saw me quite well. Yeah, for well, the first time, at last, we have to. And, it, and the key word was fundamentally, we have to keep people fundamentally. Absolutely. I but saw I like, that. But I like I, I like the one when he always said, "They lie on Monday, they lie on Tuesday, they lie on Saturday," and then he said, "God help them, they lie on a Sunday." <laughs> that is Mr. Manley right there. Yeah, but listen, let's go straight into it. Cuba doctors, mm -hmm. what is it about Cuba that somehow, when things of crisis, they somehow tend to dig in, navigate, and be not getting the respect but knowing the answer? Well, one of the things I, I believe, first of all, that, you know, I start off first with scripture. Yes. Jesus was talking to his disciples one day and um, the disciples asked him, Jesus said to them, you should love your neighbor as you love yourself. And so one of the disciples was smart. He said, and who is my neighbor? Yes. yes. And he gave them the parable of the man that was coming from Jerusalem to Jericho that got hit in the head, fell among thieves, and got beaten up and left for dead. And the priests, the Christians, came by, nod their head and walked by on the other side. The Levite, which is a Jew, came by, nod their head and yeah. walked by on this other side. But the good Samaritan is the one that, and the Samaritans were people that were hated. Yeah. And the good Samaritan was the one that picked the man up pour oil in his womb, cover the womb, took, take him to the inn or the hotel, 
paid the innkeeper and said, this is not enough. I'll pay you on my way back. Yeah. And then Jesus asked them, who did the neighborly thing? So we have the United States of America, which is a Christian country. Yes. We have um, England, which is supposedly a Christian, Protestant Christian country. You have all these people claiming Christianity, claiming God. You have Islamic countries, Saudi Arabia, with billions of dollars. And yet it's this one little country called Cuba that really have no religion. Fidel Castro is not is a spiritual man, not a religious man. Yes. yes. And yet still you have this little country sacrificing itself to send their own people in a sense, as Michael Jackson said, to heal the world. So the question is, who is my neighbor? If you look quickly at the situation with uh, President Maduro, Venezuela, and, and Chavez, this is why I could never be a politician. Because mm -hmm. how on earth could I turn my back on Venezuela and Maduro or Chavez before that, when they have saved Jamaica hundreds of millions of US dollars worth of oil and saved the country from going bankrupt? Mm -hmm. Now you side with Trump, against Venezuela, why? What has America given Jamaica? Chinese doing the roads, what has America given Jamaica? Nothing. So Fidel Castro, Michael Manley recognized that a long time ago, while uh, 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 Prime Minister Siaga, or opposition leader at the time, did not recognize it. He recognized it after he became Prime Minister, got a few grants, and then America basically turned it back on him. And he had to fight his way in the late 80s. So Cuba, is uh is the brainchild of fidel castro of commandante castro and castro is a humanist a yes. wonderful yes. man that don't claim no religion and um is not without spot or blemishes but no one can deny what he has done not just for cuba but what he has done for south africa for nelson yes. mandela and what he's doing now in this crisis this pandemic <clears throat> that is going to get a lot worse before it gets better yeah because one of the articles I was looking at here is saying coronavirus hit countries are asking Cuba for medical help. Why is the US opposed to this? <laughs> Cuba is offering to send doctors to more countries struggling with the coronavirus, but don't accept their help. Yes. That the department says. Even in and even in Jamaica, when Cuba was offering certain things. I, I believe there was a little um, tiff, I sense, with the Labour and Johannes government mm -hmm. in, in getting it going. But but they are there now. They have been quarantined mm -hmm. and they are there now. So mm -hmm. I think all the hatches have been buried for the sake of helping the nation of Jamaica. Well, well, well. The enemy never stops. So the the, the hatchet isn't buried. Um, they are going to continue. Uh, what what I under from my understanding, Peter Phillips started the negotiations for the doctors out of Cuba, and of course, uh, uh, Minister of Health uh, Christopher Tufton and the Prime Minister Andrew Holness, who is doing a fantastic job in educating and 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 keeping Jamaica going during this time, and advising us on how best to do it. I understand that they accepted that help, but yeah. but if they if they were to get the help from from Mr. Trump or from, well, poor Boris, now he's caught up. If they were to get the help from or the people who have benefited, especially England, the entire country is built off of Jamaica. If we were to get benefits and we would have accepted those benefits, but unfortunately we have not gotten that kind of help. The only help we get from England is for is money for building prisons to send the, the deportees back. So um, I'm very happy that Mr. Honis has accepted the help from Cuba and I pray that he will ignore America and her mischief making and um, and continue to take this kind of help because they're brilliant, brilliant doctors. Yes. I, I want to I I I just run through, I said it earlier, but for persons who are just came came on, mm -hmm. just on the topic here, um, Cuba, and, and listen, listen to this, Coron coronavirus hit countries ask for medical help. And why? Coronavirus in Brazil, Cuban doctors wait for their chance. Cuba doctors plan to save us from coronavirus. U.S. pressures countries to reject Cuba and during coronavirus. Cuban doctors and nurses arrive in Milan to help fight. Italy, Cuban doctors and nurses arrive to help fight coronavirus. By sending doctors to Italy, Cuba continues its long campaign, right? As Cuban doctors arrive in Europe, we're reminded, Cuban, Cuba, 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 Cuba. Mm-hmm. 
You know, the history there, even, yeah. even I would say even greater than what they're doing today, yes. Yes. what they did for Angola and South Africa. They took their own citizens in Cuba, Fidel Castro, and flew them into Africa to yes. free our beautiful black suffering people from apartheid. Yeah, that's Cuba's history. So it goes back to the, 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 the story uh, that Jesus gave, who is my neighbor? You have Venezuela on one hand again, as I said earlier, saving Jamaica hundreds of millions of dollars. You have China, whatever their purpose is, who cares what purpose is necessarily when you know you have enough intelligence to guide yourself. And now here we have Cuba doing basically saving the world. And here we have America asking countries, not the America can help itself. Trump yes. cannot yes. even help New York. And he's busy telling other countries uh, not to accept help from uh, Cuba. Oh, thank God for the Cubans. Yes. But isn't that yes. history? Yes. They're good for that. Yes. Well, yes. I, well I, I, I'm really glad that, um, that they are out there on the front line. But can I ask you this? Yes. Did this thing come from China? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. You know, in the there, there's some. I wish I had the dates, but I do know. In the late seventies, there are some doctors that went before and scientists that went before the Senate Subcommittee of the United States of America, and they asked for thirty million dollars for a virus that would weaken the immune system. By nineteen early nineteen eighties, we had HIV. They said it was a gay disease. However, two gay persons can't create it. So can, can <laughs> I know the number one carrier of that virus is women. So, I mean, if anybody wants to believe a gay virus, you keep believing that. I have a bridge to sell you in Brooklyn. So viruses and what's called biological weapons is something that um, is being made by governments and by first world nations to cause mischief and to, um, to cause, you know, what we're seeing, as well as there also is a, 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 a something that really is almost documented and Bill Gates talk about it, about culling the population. Yes. yes. The population, the mineral and wealth, rubber, cobalt, titanium in Africa that is needed for weapons to make any nation number one, hence why China and America is in Africa, is in the mainland Uganda. Where is HIV? Uganda. They're not homosexuals. So why is AIDS ravaging the African nations where wealth is? There's another idea that uh, after losing Cuba, the, the, their, their, their prominent wealthy people, that the Jamaica just politically unstable and we're too strong, that they yeah. wanted Haiti. All of a sudden, HIV is ravaging Haiti. How did it get there? So now this coronavirus now, um, the way they say HIV came from a green monkey in Africa, and now they're saying this one comes from black bats that the Chinese been eating for a hundred years. I, I want to stop it right there with the bats. I want, to stop, I want to stop it right there with the bats. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for coming on. And what I like you to do is to like and share this video. Just press share. They say sharing is caring, and we got to share and we got to care because coronavirus is everywhere. No corona around here now. Still, we just share and care. Listen, we all know from growing up. From God was a boy and God in a cocky pants and from in a Jamaica that Chinese eat bats and everything like that. You know what I mean? Hundreds of years. Hmm? So this is nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing so new. What, what's what's the big deal? There's something, man. And everybody's well, 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 every, everything that is in the dark must come to light. Yes. And I think it's a matter of time before um, the same scientists that who 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 expose the fact that over 100 men were injected with the most virulent form of syphilis at Tuskegee, an experiment, and allowed to leave the college and go and cohabitate with whoever they wanted to. People who love Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was when the, the, the Europeans, the whites, gave the Indians smallpox and blankets and killed them off. And they celebrated the fact that they killed off a bunch of them so they could get the land. So listen, this is not new. This is something that's been going on for, for quite a long time. And I am just, I am very suspicious. And um, uh, if, if let's say, for instance, let's say it is, a, in fact, a Chinese virus. I don't know, it could be, but let's say it's a Chinese virus. Um, the Chinese, right, is, China is almost, they're correcting that issue. 
Yeah. What yeah. are we doing in the Western Hemisphere, especially in the United States of America, where I am now, to, to stop the spread of the coronavirus? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Trump thinks that we should, the do doctors and nurses should um, uh, take, use the mask and sterilize them and use them again. That will save the country. And he believes that he should go forward and um, uh, chastise and bring up Maduro and other people on charges in the middle in the middle, of, in the middle of what's going on. So again, Cuba <coughs> is just, you know, my father always said time tells the tale. And yeah, Cuba yeah. is just, just uprising, coming out of all of this world mess as the friend of humanity. You know what I, what I love, what, what, what I love um, is to get uh, an interview with a Cuban doctor. If you can organize yeah. or Angela Burke or somebody to organize it, because you see, I think we've got to reach to a point, you know, anybody who knows me knows I'm conservative, you know, but I actually, I'm a humanist, Bertrand, you know, that's right. That's I'm, what we have I'm, to be. I rock with people left, right and center. I'm tell people all the while. I think today we're rough enough people, bad, rough people, enough people are rough. <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> Listen, because I say to people all the while, I'm not here to please you all. I'm here on one agenda. Mm -hmm. And I serve my call upon this earth. Mm -hmm. When I see this corona thing going around, right, it, it refocused me so much, Ian. It refocused me so much that I cannot afford to stay in the middle. Mm -hmm. I cannot afford to please people. Mm -hmm. Because I know people who are telling me now, I know a couple of persons, I believe one person is going, is maybe on their deathbed that I know. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing of people who are actually just dying just like that. And I'm sure, Ian, that they would have loved to live their life to the fullest, whereby Absolutely. they did not play games and they did not mm -hmm. take, they did not play safe. Mm -hmm. So this is so this has actually refocused my thinking that I'm, you know, I'm ready to ruffle your bed, Ian, because you know I'm a ruffle, we're ruffle at different times, but <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Well, let, let me say this to you. Yes. The, the the medicine yes. that the Cubans are using yes. is a medicine called alpha interferon. Yes. Alpha interferon, and it was called immuviron, immunex, and then the Nation of Islam had to change to immuviron. Yes. It's something yes. that the Nation of Islam under Minister Farrakhan and Minister Ali Mohammed had um, found in Cuba and in Africa. That's where they made it. It is the best remedy for HIV, mm. alpha interferon. So that is the, what they're using. No, we've tried to break it through the, 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 the CDC and the da, 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 the red tape. And it has not been given the go ahead because the pharmaceutical industry, as you would know, is very powerful. So what they're using is alpha interferon, which is giving the coronavirus uh, a virus a hell of a time. And they're doing well with it. And if that medicine, if the alpha interferon is allowed into the United States of America, instead of trying to re, uh, re bring back the malaria um, uh, 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 medication, inter alpha interferon is, is exactly what Corona-19 or COVID-19 needs mm. to get you know, out of our system. And to is, be is, is, is that what Peter Phillips said to... It is. It is. It is. It is. But we've known about it in the Nation of Islam for, for, for decades. I'm sorry. We've been remedying um, the, the AIDS patients from, I think, 1992. Yeah. So alpha interferon, and it's I think here it's called immuviron, is, is the best that you can use. There are people that tell you about antibiotics, you know, use antibiotics, soap, take antibiotics. Remember that antibiotics kill bad and good. Yes. Bad yes. as needed in, in yourself. So the alpha interferon goes directly to the virus and it defeats it. And so again, the virus also, yeah. people need to understand the virus has been mutated and built in a way, the reason why it looks like a crown is because it has a bunch of different viruses in that virus. And yeah. one of the main viruses in that virus is HIV. Wow, wow. And that is, and that is why they're talking about that 
And I, I don't know where it is because everybody's coming up with things. And I think so many information is coming, but when you dissect it, you are seeing some things coming out where they said that somebody got the copyright or the patent for the vaccine already for Corona virus or COVID already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, there are people that have it, but Cuba absolutely has the best remedy for it. And yeah. they're bringing it all over the world. They're, they're in Italy right now doing the best that they can do. Tell me, what, 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 is, what is Farrakhan thinking? Because I know Farrakhan has been sort of banned or they trying to restrict him from oh, absolutely. Facebook. Absolutely. He's completely off the air. I mean, he spoke to um, 13, 14,000 people in a stadium of the, a couple of months ago. No, nothing on the news. So their way of dealing with him is to not put him out there in the public domain, which makes no difference to him. He's as powerful as they come anyway. So what the minister has been warning us for quite a while about these biological weapons that are being created yes. in laboratories, in particular here in the United States of America, to deal with, and as well as teaching us about the calling of the, popul the population <laughs> and the diseases that have been sent into certain areas, especially in Africa. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we just, I believe that this, con this coronavirus is just a virus that has gotten out of control. They, they never expected it to hit the West. It yes, was supposed yes. to be in the East and stay in the East, as uh, Mr. Trump called it, the Chinese virus. <laughs> but and, we believe it's a little bit more to it. But the and, minister, and, 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 right people are, and people are dying who have never died before, yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But Minister Farrakhan's advice to us right now is to prepare ourselves to be in, 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 in our homes for at least the next two to three months. Yes. He says, you don't know where this thing is going. Um, stay home. Keep your butt at home, as the scripture say in Isaiah. It's time to stay home. It's time to not take this thing lightly. It's going to get much worse before it gets better. And this is one of many viruses and uh, 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 um, just but that's going to be coming. This is the beginning of sorrows. We do not believe that the, the future will be very, very bright based on the evil and the power of the wicked in this world today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for coming on. Thank you those on um, Instagram. Um, you're not able to see both of us. You only see me, but you can hear Ian. If you want to go to YouTube, Facebook, you can actually see the live interview. Of course, I'll repost this later. Please share this as well and those on Facebook. Can I just ask this? In light of what is happening, and I, every person I speak to, I ask them this question. You're in a business. You're in a business. You're a businessman. Do you do you see the whole world changing its rethinking and working, and um, people doing business and everything now? You know, because it 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 has cramped a lot of persons who are not able to be very flexible who are to work with their hands. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what do you foresee down the road with the world thinking pattern now? Because this is actually- In, in regard to the virus or overall? No, I'm talking overall. I'm talking, I'm talking about, say the virus has gone and everything like that, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And, 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 and even before the virus has gone, because if you're talking about two, three months, I know the government is talking about in the UK, USA, they're gonna give out handouts, give out handouts. But you're gonna mm -hmm. have some persons who are underground. You got some person who are not um, in mm -hmm. the system. Mm -hmm. What what happened with these persons? I think that all of us um, we're going to feel it. Whether uh, whether the, the the money they're going to be giving some of their citizens in uh, in Europe and America, where they can afford to do it with taxpayer people pay people's money, whether that will keep us afloat temporarily. It's going to affect every last one of us because behind that will come a recession. Behind that, because you have to remember, America is trillions of dollars in debt as it stands. So all she's doing is increasing her debt, not to mention little Jamaica, not to mention even England. The goal that they stole from Fort Knox is just about finished. Yes. So yes. you have to understand that they're in these silver, and the sterling is no longer backed by silver, and the US dollar is certainly not backed by any gold. So we're in trouble. So yeah. that the world is going to get a, a lot tighter. It's going to get worse before it gets better. And the only time the world will be better is when the power of the wicked is broken. And that, we believe, is going to be broken in war. 
So we're looking at China and America This is in, in a trade war. I know it seems to be in a viral war. And um, Trump is the right man to bring America to, to war because he is, you know, strong and arrogant enough to lead this nation into the constant conflict with the powerful nation of China. So I believe that the, the future, as per the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and Minister Farrakhan, is not going to be too, too pretty. We need to make sure that we are, you know, we're saving as much as we can and we are doing the best that we can in this life because just like you see with the coronavirus there's more on the way you know i mean jesus said there'll be wars and rumors of wars and nation will fight against nation and we believe that we're entering in that time of judgment and it's going to be rough it's going to be rough but we will survive yeah i i, I think i think i've adopted a sort of um hopeful stance and that hopeful stance is that as the bible always says it came to pass mm -hmm. he came to pass mm -hmm. not to stay Mm -hmm. And um, how do you give, how do you speak hope into people's life at this time? Faith. What do you faith. say? Faith. Personally, I've gone through um, things in my life, even especially in business. And um, I look as good as I've always looked because I have faith. Yes, and, yes. you know, so finding God within yourself and, and believing and, and, and following the supreme being and studying you know, books of knowledge and wisdom. Just make yourself so strong. Make yes. yourself into a vessel. Make yourself into a machine so that, you know, nobody will be able to throw you left or throw you right. And listen to wise people. I believe that Minister Farrakhan is the wisest that we have today. And that we should, black, white, and everyone should listen to what he's saying. We should listen, I think, on a political level. I think Cuomo, again, is doing a good job. I think Andrew Holness is speaking some knowledge. And we should listen to our leaders. Uh, I'm not very impressed with our preachers. Uh, other than that, I think that I don't know what they're begging for money. Uh, Perfla Dollar Dollar Bill needs money and the other idiot out there. I'm very disappointed in the church. The church should be the ark um, for us today. And they are an absolute mess. The church and the priests and the pastors and the imams and the, 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 the rabbis have allowed politicians to lead the way where it should be the church and men of God yeah. that yeah. is giving the people that live that type of faith and confidence that I believe I have. Yeah. I, I, cannot, I, cannot, I cannot disagree with you. And it's very interesting that the Pope said, if there's no priest, you must go straight to God. No, you should have said that a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, I knew that. <laughs> it's not, it's, you shouldn't go to him after the priest. You should go to God. You should have the God within self. You should be going to God by yourself anyway. Yeah. Now, you now, now, with the priest, the now, priest now, now, on a final <laughs> note, that's something I just want to, to tap into you because... Yes. Uh, in, in your in your bio, which is something you speak about, you talk about the building the firm as well to return to his roots in Islam, which he believes is needed to transform young black men in particular. Now, the, the black community, mm -hmm. the black race, mm -hmm. what do you see as the key factor? Because Ian, I'm from Jamaica. I said I talk people all the while. Mm -hmm. I know who I am. <clears throat> when I grew up, <clears throat> when I grew up, the most people I saw were black people. Mm -hmm. I have confidence completely. I don't believe in begging. If a man is racist towards me, that's his problem. Then I'll kill him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never mm -hmm. fight him. Mm -hmm. If if somebody's is um have more power to me than well, I believe that I need to create more power. Mm -hmm. What do you say to people? who keep complaining and moaning. What is that message which has been sent to the youths? How do mm. we rise up to know who we are as a people? Very good question. I believe that the, the church, uh, it was Willie Lynch during slavery yeah. that came up with the idea that you did not have to abuse and beat black slaves in order to rule them. The better way is to come at them through religion and to come at them by putting pacifying people in front of them, to be, relax them. 
And so the church, as well as the entertainment industry, which has completely sold out, rap music began as a conscious uh, way of rapping truth to the masses. Then now it's about sex, drugs, and, and everything beneath that. And dancehall music has replaced reggae music, which again was a music of consciousness and black liberation and power. Now it's about gal and you know, you know yeah. what it is. So between our entertainment and between the religious community, which more is about money today than it is about transforming human lives and about being a pacifier for the old gods, the old um westernized neo-colonial neo-colonialist society that we live in today in america minister farrakhan says we are lawful captives yes that's yes. why white police officers are in black communities and that's and they're not from the neighborhood so we're lawful captives and if we get out of our places we'll be dealt with so how we get over that is with truth and with knowledge and mm -hmm. we have to search for that knowledge and we have to start to ignore the people who have been left the leaders that have been left in place, political and religion, and the degrading uh, music industry, we have to ignore that to a point where we're making sure that we're getting the wisdom and the knowledge that we need. As black people, we need to understand that two things cannot occupy the same space at the same time. So if the white man wants to rule, the black man cannot rule. So you have Trump because we got Obama. This is the this is the, this is them coming back at us for forgetting Obama, for swallowing Obama which he only won or mainly won because they didn't want Hillary. Let's not get it too twisted. If Hillary yeah. ran against a, a, a dog, the dog of the president, they hate her. So, you know, I think what it is is that we have to face truth and we have to wake up. There's enough information out there. So while we listen to the music and with a cartel or while we listen to this and we enjoy our lives, we also have to spend that time on same YouTube, on Facebook and seek wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and make ourselves better. It start with us. Yeah, no, you're, you're right, you're right, because my thinking many times is that I, I see voices out there. See, when I came to the UK, one of the things that I said when I came to the UK, mm -hmm. I said, where are the black voices, where are the black leaders, you know? And the finger pointed back at me, because I recognized mm -hmm. that I was hearing some voices, and I was seeing some thinkings, and I didn't agree with it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like that because I'm not into, I'm not a beggar. You know what I'm saying? I agree with you. I'm a proud black man. I'm not a yes. beggar about it. I'm not, I'm not yes. writing a petition. Listen, I'm going to say to people all the while and them get mm -hmm. beat up by me. I'm saying, I'm not begging a petition. I'm not doing a petition. I'm not sure. begging about it. But it hasn't helped us. It hasn't worked. It hasn't Martin worked. Luther King, people talk about Martin Luther King having a dream. Martin Luther King, at the last end, the end, the tail end of his life, he said two things two things I'd like to quote to you. He said, I fear that I'm integrating my people into a burning house. Yes. That was one of the things he said. That's very important, people understand. The next thing he said is, I believe that separation for a while can work so that my people can get themselves together, not segregation. Yes. Segregation yes. is separation with one people owning everything over the other. Yes. Separation is, a mental, is what the Bible asks for. Yes important that if we don't separate from others, the Chinese live together, the Indians live together, you have Chinatown, you have Koreatown. Is there anything racist about that? Why we can't have a black town? What is it's wrong with us? No, 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 because we want to go and beg the white man to petition him to please include us. Them days is over. Listen, the white man, man have one himself. Listen, we man, I, I close with this topic. I, I, I wrap up with this topic, which has been burning me up today, you know, and people... Somebody just yeah. messaged me a while ago and said, I'm the only person that disagree with it. Because this lady come out and say, why are they, why are the mainstream news media not mm. showing black nurses and black doctors? Mm. Listen to this, listen to this. Why is the mainstream media? Mm -hmm. And then I said, duh, the mainstream media is owned by the white man. Mm -hmm. Then at the yeah. same time, it hit me again and said, we chat every day by Facebook. Mm -hmm. We chat every day by Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. We show our bits and pieces every day. You why don't we grab? Why don't they we don't grab? Support, they don't support your show. Yeah. Why don't you we? Know what's in. Exactly. Why don't we grab pictures of doctors and nurses and, and promote, promote that ourselves? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. As you know, you know, we have the Final Call newspaper, which is the number one black newspaper in the yeah. state. Yeah. And we promote um, information, not just Nation of Islam, but every information. And we yes. can have knowledge out there. So Mr. Farrakhan is a publisher also. And yeah. uh, it's important that we become publishers. And that's why I'm here to support you on this show. And I'll be giving you even more support going forward, whether I'm yeah. on or not. Because this is important. We have to create. And social media has allowed us to create Yes. our own yes. public relations, our own information medium, and we should use it. And and, and that's the reason why I, I saw this medium here and I said, uh, you're, you're one of my guinea pigs, of course, because this is a yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right. I don't like the word pigs, but yeah, I'm a guinea pig. <laughs> we don't need a pig. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't have a thing there, you know? Yeah. The, Bay of, the Bay of Pigs, you know, the Bay of Pigs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah but listen, listen, Ian, listen, I want to thank you so much. And um, this is going to be the start of many because, listen, I love diverse views. Yes, sir. And I don't want everybody to agree with me. If everybody yeah. agreed with me, I'm going to get bored. My yeah. wife would ask, my wife, my wife said, oh, because my wife like to say, I need to throw some cold water for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, you stay the way you are. You stay the way you are. <laughs> Don't change from me who you are. <laughs> Listen, we, and ladies and gentlemen, the key, the key thing, ladies and gentlemen, no matter what, you know, be who you are. At this time, now you got to decide which side you're on. And that side is got to be your side. You cannot play safe. You cannot play in the middle. Because mm -hmm. guess what? coronavirus can just take you out and you don't want to be Absolutely. a person who in the grave you their dreams and everything you got to stand up for who you are and I don't just want to yeah i'm sorry as quickly i just want to thank cuba again yes. this medium for helping the world in this time of need because yes. they don't have a lot of money and whatever they have they are doing their best well i want to thank them personally for jamaica and i like what they're doing for italy and other countries in the world Yes. Thank you. Yes. That that's awesome. the yes, 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 yes. So so Ian, listen. Thank you so much. Thank you. And go and have some food. Yeah, right. We'll do. <laughs> and and all the best to Mrs. Celery. And and thank you so much for the time. Nice She's listening right now. <laughs> all right. Good. All right. Peace out, buddy. Peace. Thanks. Thanks. Bye bye. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for coming on. And those on um, YouTube as well, sorry, Facebook, I want to put this up on YouTube. Um, it's always very interesting when I have interesting guests, uh, guests which um, don't agree with in everything, but have a common denominator. One of the things I always talk about, and I call it the black element. And if you go onto Facebook and just type in the black element, it is something which I devised recently with someone about a year now. I'm not being really pushing it that much, but it's a simple concept is that no matter what we have and the differences that we have politically, religiously, um, socially, culturally, or whatever like that as black people, there's something which is called the black element. The black element is where we find a common ground, a common denominator, a common position where we can all rally around. There's a song in Jamaica, and I can't remember, the, I can't remember who, who sang it, but somebody, I'm sure, some smart person will tell me, and so rally around, he said, rally around, the, rally around the flag, rally around the heights, red, gold, and green, or something like that. I'm going to play that song. For, I forget, forget where. I think it was, maybe it's culture or bonne whale or something like that. There's a rally around the flag. So it's talking about rally around a common ground, rally around a common denominator, rally around the black element. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for coming on. Please like and share the video. Um, there's going to be so much more because guess what? There's going to be so much more. Trust me, because I'm just going to explode and expand. And I'm looking for different guests as well, different views. And I don't want persons who agree with me. Please, please, ladies and gentlemen, don't, 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 don't try to get me to agree with you. Don't, don't, you know, somebody just said a while ago, I'm surprised by your thinking. I'm surprised by you are the only person that think like that. And I'm saying, bless God. I'm so glad that I'm the only one to think like that. Do not be a follower only unless you are following what you want. Be a leader. Lead from the front. Lead your family. Lead your children. Men, you're called because you're strong. The Bible talks about that. It gives you um, authority to name things. We're supposed to name things. That is why people talk, they name children, right? They, they, they name people, you know, fathers, they always name them, right? So therefore, 
this is an opportunity and it's a time. So I want to thank you so much and peace out and all the best. And may God bless you and may keep you and may his face shine upon you and may he give you peace. And love you all, my people, Jamaica, well, the world, you know, whatever. <laughs> thank you for much. Thank you on Instagram. All the best. Bye bye. Thank you. And thank you so much. Bye bye.